B.O. Samantha. I knew that that's why you were at the Cody's. You were there too? Yes, I was hiding in the bushes outside. I couldn't believe it when you opened the door, but then it made sense. The way that you took an interest in him and the way you always rubbed each other the No, I, I didn't know it then. But did you want to? Well, of course I did. That's why I was there to meet him. Why did he run away from me? He thought that you were there to take him in for kidnapping Daisy, but I knew it was too coincidental. Did it ever occur to Dylan? No, he was convinced that Cody was double-crossing him, that he called you and the police. He was so hurt. He wanted to find his mom so badly. He really wants to know about his mother. He thought if he could find her, he could find himself. Be whole. Dylan has so much going for him, he just doesn't believe in himself. He thinks that he's not worth caring about. That's why he gets in so much trouble, because he thinks that nobody cares. If you could just tell him that he's yours, that you came to see him because you wanted to get to know him. I will tell him as soon as he gets better. So what was the matter with Joey? Didn't have his gun, he wasn't happy to see me. Well, you know, he's just not fond of intruders barging in on me in the middle of the night. Neither am I. Finish your branding, get out of here, I'm tired. Oh, no, that's funny. Because you were looking awful frisky with the mask man. Adam, I mean, Roger, was... <laughs> I'm not amused. That means you are laughing at me, not with me. What was that little tete tay about anyway? Was it business or was it personal? Uh, I thought I did have a whiff of your very finest perfume. Look, I've had some rather hard news tonight. I'm, I'm really not in the mood to play your games. Do you want to share it with me? No. I haven't even had a chance to absorb it myself. If you don't mind, I'd like to be alone. All right, but just one more thing. Inquiring minds want to know. You and I have a future together. On top of everything else, I found out that the coroner that identified Best Body was paid off by my father. He was paid to say that it was Best Body, but it wasn't. It was a Jane Doe. So I found this guy, tracked him down, and he confessed to me that it was not Best Body that he sent back to Springfield, and I got it on tape. I'll play it for you. That won't be necessary. You believe me? What does Miss Rain's family have to say about all this? Well, um, her, her, her mother's very upset. Why? I would have thought a mother would be overjoyed to find out that her child could be alive. I know, but see, um, it, it, it took Lillian, uh, Mrs. Raines, it, it took her years to get over the shock of Beth's death. And I think she's just frightened at, at the thought of getting her hopes up if there's even the slightest possibility that I'm wrong. I'd need her permission. Oh, no, please. Let's not drag her into this. I don't know that she could take it. Don't, don't I have enough evidence with what I have here to justify doing this without bringing her into it? All right. Well, uh, let me review everything. Okay. And we'll talk about this in the morning. No, no. It, it has to be tonight. Why? If Miss Rain's body isn't in the grave tonight, it won't be there tomorrow or the next day no, or the next. Judge, please. I have to know tonight. Uh, no, you don't. Now, go home and get some sleep. We'll talk about this tomorrow. Where's Philip? I don't know. You don't know? No. He was here a little while ago. But he left. He went to find Beth, I suppose. He walked right through me like I wasn't even there. Your mother repeated her news about the safe. Oh, I know. Remind me to thank her for ruining my marriage. My life. It's not over yet. Philip knows I lied to him. 
He hates me for it. I could see it when I looked at him. It's all over. Everything I have worked so hard for, it's all gone! Now, you listen. He doesn't know Beth is alive. All he knows is that she's not buried in that grave. We still have room to maneuver. Inches at most. You know, I tried to call and warn you after he came looking for you at my apartment. Where were you? Mm. I went for a walk. I needed some space, some time to figure out how to save my marriage. Unfortunately, the only thing I could think of involved murder. I don't know what I'm going to do. Well, for starters, you could stop worrying about things you cannot change and start concentrating on the things you can. If you're going to tell me to can. throw myself into my work, forget it. I can't concentrate on the tower project. We're going to have to cancel it. No. Daddy, I can only spread myself so thin. Saving my marriage has to be my first priority. And completing Blakewood Towers is going to help you toward that end. Look, this is his Taj Mahal to you. I give him a chance to immortalize you. Daddy, stop it. The only thing Philip wants to put in cement right now is me. He's so consumed with Beth, he can't concentrate on work anyway. Well, maybe he's too distracted to be able to stop things. I could handle it. I do have his power of attorney. You've got Philip's power of attorney? Nobody but this man could make...